Does this happen to you when you try to paste an image on a wall or a screen? Let's face it, our footage is rarely perfect. There is usually plenty of camera movements, change in camera perspective, or other things getting in the way of our planar tracker. Today, we will learn how to paste an image onto a screen even when there is some camera movement. We will do so with an occlusion mask. Also, I will leave the link to the footage down in the description so you guys can follow along. Anyways, you can check out this video where I use the corner pin effect at around 10 seconds. Give this video a like and subscribe and let's head over to the video. In this video, we will be tracking this screen on the left and overlaying an image onto this screen. So make sure that the playhead is over the clip and head over to the Fusion tab. With Media In 1 selected, hold down Ctrl and press Spacebar and search for Planar Tracker. Then change the tracker from point to hybrid point area. Our motion type shall remain as perspective. This is because there's a change in perspective as we are moving closer to the target which is the screen and there's a lot of movement. So the other motion types are translation, rotation and scale. Translation is when the target is just moving up, down, left or right Rotation is when there's a change in the angle of the target and scale is when the target increases in size or decreases in size especially when you are moving closer to the target or further away from it. So for most cases when there's a lot of movement, perspective is the best. So now we'll go to the frame where the screen is the biggest and select a tracking area. To zoom in, hold down control and use your mouse scroll wheel. To pen like this, hold down the mouse scroll wheel and simply drag. Make sure that you have not selected the screen on the right. Alright, now it's looking good. Then, under reference time, click on set and track to end. Okay, now go to the front of the keyframes and track to start. To overlay your image onto the screen, go to Media Pool and drag your image into this grid thingy here, anywhere here, and drag the output onto the green arrow of the Planar Tracker. Then select Planar Tracker, change the operation mode from Track to Corner Pin, and go to the frame where the screen is the biggest, and drag the corners of the image onto the corners of the screen or wherever you are pasting the image onto in your case. Yes, I know we are using the old DaVinci Resolve logo, but whatever works. So you have to be really precise with this by zooming in a lot, as we want the image to stick precisely onto the screen. Alright, once you are done, click on Media Out to see the result. So I press Spacebar to playback. Alright, as you can see at the start, the DaVinci Resolve logo is really squashed. Its, its aspect ratio is really screwed up and we don't want that to happen. So that happened because this screen at the front is blocking the tracking points of our planar tracker. So what we have to do now is to create an occlusion mask. An occlusion mask is basically an area that tells the planar tracker not to track as tracking data. So we have to track the screen at the front to create our occlusion mask. To do so, click on planar tracker hold down control and press spacebar and create another planar tracker. Then change the tracker from point to hybrid point area and we shall create a tracking area around this screen. Make sure that only the screen is selected. 
Once you're done, click Set on Reference Time and Track to End. Alright, now go to the start of the keyframes and Track to Start. Okay, now click on Go at Reference Time and Create Planar Transform. A new planar transform node will appear magically out of nowhere. Now we have to detach the planar tracker tool here by holding down shift and dragging this into the unknown. And we have to drag this planar transform one into between these two nodes. So hold down shift again and drag them onto the line until it changes to yellow and blue and release your mouse click. Now it's connected. Then with the planar tracker, sorry, planar transform selected, hold down control and press spacebar and search for polygon, press enter and we shall draw the occlusion mask. So this polygon node will serve as the occlusion mask. Make sure that you have selected the edge of the screen as it will be blocking the tracking points. So somewhere here looks good. And once you're done, highlight both the polygon and the planar tracker, hold down shift and drag this out of the line and change this from blue to yellow by clicking on this and connecting the output of the polygon to the yellow input here. And then connect the output of the planar transform to the occlusion mask which is the white arrow of the planar tracker one. Now click on media out one and go to the frame, go to this frame somewhere around here. So this is the point where the image is perfectly overlaid onto the screen. However, all the points before this point is pretty screwed up as the image is squashed. So around here, click on planar tracker one, change the operation mode to track and track to start. All right, now change the operation mode back to corner pin to see the result. All right, so now it is much better. The, the logo isn't squashed into this tiny space here. However, there's one very big issue, one obvious issue, and that is that the image is in front of this screen when it is supposed to be hidden at the back, so we shouldn't even be seeing it. So now we shall fix that by using the occlusion mask that we created to cover that area. And to do so, click on media in one, <clears throat> right click and click on copy. Then click anywhere and right click, click paste instance. This will create an instance media in. Then disconnect the planar transform from the planar tracker one by clicking on the line and connect the output from the planar transform into the input of the instance media in one. Right. Now, finally, connect the output of the instance media in to the output of the planar tracker one. This will create a merge node. And now when I play this back, voila, everything is fixed. However, we notice that the mask is still here, the polygon occlusion mask. So it shouldn't be there. We don't want it to be there. So we can fix this by keyframing the level on the polygon. So at around here, we will set a keyframe and we'll go forward one frame and then drag the level all the way down to zero. So when the level is at zero, it means the polygon isn't working. So now the polygon will not affect the image at all. And another thing that we might improve on is that here the edge here is really rough 
is a really sharp edge. So we can select polygon and smoothen that out by adding a bit of soft edge, something like this. Now let me play back this in full screen. Alright, so it's looking good. Now, I agree that it is not 100% realistic as there's still a bit of wobbling as you can see at the start. However, we managed to fix about 99% of the issues and if we were to do this repeatedly with trial and error, we might get better results if we select a better tracking area and hopefully our viewers will not notice it. So this soft edge here might be a bit intense so we might adjust the soft edge as well. So that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you have learned something and have a nice day.